Today, I'm going to show you to paint some freehand checkers on some orc planes. These are from puppetsward.com. They make some amazing models. Yo dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days on this Friday morning in the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California. I'm gonna be doing another orc tutorial. Last time we touched on freehand for the orcs, we did the DAG rectangular patterns. Today we're gonna hit up that iconic orc checkers. It's pretty easy when you know the right technique. That is kind of the theme of Next Level Painting. It's all about the consolidation of techniques. If you can put the right technique down in the right order, it's almost like painting on easy mode, guys. It's all about effort and knowledge. And luckily the internet is a wealth of information. So this is also, as I mentioned earlier, this is a puppetsword.com miniature. This is the Orc de Plane. I'm using these guys for my personal Orc army in 2017. This is my Watang clan. This is my sweet ass Death Copter Death Star. Yo, I've been having a lot of fun painting these guys on Twitch. If you guys don't know Twitch, is live TV. Twitch.tv next underscore level underscore painting is my personal channel. Basically, we broadcast twice a week. We are on Tuesdays and Fridays now. We're doing Tuesday 5 p.m. We're doing Friday 3.30 p.m. Those are both Pacific Standard Times. You're definitely not gonna wanna miss this. Plug into the Twitters, plug into the Instagrams and the Facebooks, stay up to date. I'm also part of a brand new consolidated stream team. We are Brush Liquors United. You definitely want to check out the Brush Lickers United Facebook page and get all your updates there. I want to shout out my man, John, Randy, Jacob, and Mark. Also, can't forget Jimmy. You guys came in super clutch this week. Patreon is my personal crowdfunding page. It is how I keep the lights on. I've said it a thousand times. I don't do it for money. It does take money to do this. And every bit of helps. You guys are coming in so clutch for me. Thank you. The longward.net, home of the battle reports. You're not gonna wanna miss that. All right, guys, let's do this thing. Let's paint these checkers. So I'm gonna use an ancient Chinese technique to start right off with. I'm gonna use an old lead pencil. You remember these mechanical pencils? These were my shit back in the day, drawing pictures and shit. And I've already um, based these areas I'm gonna paint these designs on with a kind of a light gray. And I let it dry thoroughly, and now I'm just gonna lightly sketch out my pattern. You don't always have to do this, but I find with checkers sometimes it helps, especially when you have um, a section of the, the plane, you see how it gets wider at one end, end, end and it's you know very narrow at the other end. This can throw you off when you're painting in there and trying to create the, um, the right angle on these lines. Now obviously it's orc, so there can be a little weirdness to it. That's one of my favorite things about orcs, is that you should always challenge yourself to do checkers on orcs because it's easy. And as I sketch in these areas with the pen, you see that I'm making adjustments. Like, oh, I don't like this angle. Maybe let's try this angle. Kind of just making notes to myself, you know? Super easy, like, you know, I'm having some, I'm having trouble making that one square line up, but, I'm, but I've made a note of it. So now I'm gonna come in with some airbrush black. And airbrush ready black is pretty good at lining because it's already so watery. So this is Vallejo air black. And we're coming in with just a nice thin detail brush. And we're just gonna lay in these black squares over this white primer and then um, just carefully it's, it's kind of thin right now I want to be able to manipulate it I want to be able to make adjustments as I go and you know I'm still tracing my, my pencil like I said so this is very important and go slow methodical you know don't and be very sure you don't have an excess of water in your paintbrush because it can fuck everything up you're trying to get this as close to perfect as possible the first time because that'll minimize the cleanup later you know it's, it's it is a little difficult cleaning up white over black but not impossible so let's just try to avoid it even though I am gonna come there back in and cut and sharpen up some of these squares with some cool effects I definitely want to make it easy on myself it's also about the angle when you're drawing a straight line it's easy to pull it to you uh, instead of left and right and for the sake of this video you're gonna see me drawing all sorts of lines the wrong way just so I can keep it in frame better. But I normally would never draw the line left to right, like on the horizontal plane. I would always draw it on the vertical plane and just keep flipping the plane around in my hand. That's another trick that you're just not gonna see me doing very much in this video. See right here, moving it to the right. Don't do that. Just flip the plane over and make that a vertical stroke. 
So now I'm taking a look at these squares, trying to see if I like the way they line up. You can already see there's some angle issues right here. Oh, I'm going to fix it right here. Get it just right. And we're just going to make this whole square black over here. That was that, that was a last second judgment call. It looks fine. So now we have a pretty decent uh, checker pattern to start with here. As they move away, the you know the, the pattern gets wider and even the squares get bigger. And now I'm just going in there and making sure these checkers are fully black. Because by now that first thin application is pretty much dry. And I can come back in with a little bit more black thin down and do the second pass, make them totally black. And that will be a solid base coat to come back in and highlight. Well, that's drying. We can go right to the, 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 the tail, the rudders or whatever they're called. And we're going to just draw some triangles, some dags, I think is what people call them. And we don't even need to sketch these out. These are the easiest of all geometric shapes to draw in this situation. We're just coming right in with the paintbrush. That simple. They're so easy to do because the, paint, the paintbrush is a straight plane. And it kind of just guides your hand very easily. You almost cannot fuck this part up. And so we're just going to sketch these out. Get them looking fresh. Um, very orcified. I love it. We've done a tutorial on the, um, the triangles in the past. So I'm just kind of giving you a refresher on the difference between the triangles and the checkers. They're um, definitely different levels of difficulty. One of them is easy, one of them is hard. So now that we've done that, laid down the black, got some fresh triangles in there, we can move on. <laughs> so we're going to hit the other wing. Same deal, get your mechanical pencil out, OG, ancient Chinese technique, and sketch them in and try to mimic what you did on the other side. And so this one's going to go a lot faster because I already have a good idea of what's difficult about this angle. And I already know that, that I'm going to start the black bottom right and I keep alternating up and down right here. And I know that the last square is going to be all black. We already determined that that's the style we're going for here. Same deal. Come back in with your uh, airbrush ready black. Don't draw horizontal lines like I just did. Just move the plane left and right. Um, see, I'm already getting, getting the angles different, but I'm drawing another horizontal line right there. There's only so much flipping around I could do to have it still in focus. Ugh, the struggles. And we're getting nice, solid coverage here. They're looking good. We got to clean up this last line down here because it kind of got off. Uh, it kind of got a curve in it. We want it to be straight. Cool. Now let's go back to where we started. And let's pull out a little bit of pure white and a little bit of black on our palette. So that way we can create the light uh, gray transitions that we did earlier. And we're just going to come in here and basically frame out these white checkers. This is one of the things I like to do on orc checkers because it really gives it an organic textured look. And we're just basically going to essentially edge highlight the white squares. We're going to draw basically a pure white border around them and then subtly blend them in to the center. This is easily achieved when you use a little bit of watered down paint. You can really do a couple of thin layers of thin white over this really light gray and get a pretty solid transition. But you definitely want your, your edges to be very hard, very strong. And also you can use the pure white to cut over any of the problems with the black and just tighten up those lines. It gives you a very textured, very three-dimensional look. Very orky, I love it. So, looking good, white's looking fresh. Now we're gonna do something uh, to reinforce that effect. We're gonna come in on the black squares now, we're gonna mix a very dark gray, and we're gonna do, I mean, first we're just tightening up the squares. We notice that there's a little bit of um, light gray poking through some of these areas, so. Let's make sure we have a perfectly solid black first. Then grab your very dark gray and draw a fun little edge on the black squares. Do your best to keep a slight pure black border between the gray and the white. This will help create three dimensionality and a very textured look here. It'll make it look like it's there might be somewhat of a, a three dimensional like element here. Like it's like maybe even that the paint is just so layered up because they're orky. That's what they do. So first I'm boxing in the very extreme gray. And then we'll come back in and blend that gray back into the black with a little bit more black in the in the mix. That's why for these types of things, I'm using just basically the same white and black to mix all my grays in, into. So that way I always know um, how to blend it back perfectly. I'm, I'm not using any other weird colors. It's literally just black and white and different variations of the two. 
So come back in there and see, I, I've bl just rapid fire blended them in. I'll do a separate video on how to wet blend. I just very subtly wet blended the darker uh, gray back into the lighter gray over and over again. Now I'm coming back in and just tighten up the white checkers. I want there to be a little bit more of an extreme white edge on them. Gives us a very fresh finish. And that in a nutshell is how I like to do these checkers. I like to give my checkers a little bit of an organic feel. I like them to have the look that they were painted on the model, not that they stamped on the model. Here's an example of the Method Boys from my Orc Army. They all have unique squad markings. Here's an example of the uh, War Boss that we just did. He's got some checkers on his arm right there. Looks fresh. We'll be doing this guy on Twitch. I uh, definitely don't want to miss the live stream on Twitch. And here's his uh, Lucky Stake banner back there. And we did some really crazy Orc dramatic squares on that too. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like these tutorials, check out Next Level Painting on Patreon. Become a patron of the arts today. We offer early and exclusive access to our videos and a rewards program for different pledge levels. Patreon is PayPal and credit card secure, so you don't have to worry about that. We use 100% of the money to improve our process.